Hello again YouTube, just thought I'd show you the bag that I was talking about because as you've seen on my last video it was packed away in the bag and I'll just give you a quick bit of advice about sleeping with it. Um, this bag, this one, I'll stand up, it's quite a big bag um, but it is snug and it's meant to be snug to keep your warmth in. A few features I like about it, it's got the shape for your feet in the bottom so you as you know with regular flat sleeping bags your toes are sort of poking about in the bottom on here they're not it doesn't look that big but actually there's plenty of room in there you don't feel the bag at all pushing against your feet the bag itself although it looks quite flat at the moment is it does hold a lot of air and that air keeps you warm it's the only bad side of having the air actually within the the packaging of the bag is putting it away obviously so you've got a dual zip on the side here I've, so you can unzip it up or down depends on the hot how hot you are inside the bag I would suggest having it closed all the time <laughs> once you've zipped up you've got a velcro pad to hold it together so you don't accidentally unzip it a little bit in the night time you've got a nice hood area to stick your head in You've obviously got your your tassels or your strings on here, one for the hood to pull the hood down tighter to your head. Or this one to pull the bag tighter. Then on the inside, you then got another one. And this one's to lock all the air in around your body once you're in the bag. The bag itself, the external material and the internal material feel the same. Um, if you're sleeping in slightly warmer conditions, I would recommend getting uh, like a cotton or a silk liner just to stop your body you know, sticking to it because it is, you know, it does feel a sort of like a waterproof material. And when I did see some beads coming off the roof of the tent from the condensation in the morning, it didn't sink into the sleeping bag at all, it just literally rolled off. Uh, I'm five foot seven, and when I lie inside the sleeping bag, I haven't got no jig to hold the camera up and show you. There is still room above my head, so I've still got plenty of bag left. I wouldn't want to be over six foot tall and sleeping inside this sleeping bag. I think six foot is probably the maximum. The only downside I find to this is the zips are not what we call crash zips. You actually have to pull them to to zip them whereas on my other my other sleeping bag they're crash zips so you literally just pull the bag and the zips and do by themselves as you can see it's quite it is quite a thick bag and it does hold a lot of air once it's up if you're gonna go out sleeping with this what I suggest you doing is when you first set up you you lay out your sleeping bag and just let it breathe a little bit and let, let it get some air and you know fluff it up a little bit just just so it's not all all flat because the last thing you want is a completely flat sleeping bag and you're going to be cold it's got some i think these are hanging points on the bottom i'm not too sure it's got two of them so you can hang your sleeping bag up but it's also got one here i think that's for the zips to sort of tie down into It's a shame, the only da downside I saw to it is my other seat bag zips in half. This one doesn't, it stops at about just going your ankle, just above your boots, if you if you like. Um, it doesn't go any further. Whereas my other one, it unzip in half, and then I can fold out my bag uh, to make sort of like a, a double duvet, if you like, it for the warm weather when you don't want to carry too much kit as well. Between two of you, you and your partner. Anyway, thanks for watching and thumbs up the video and check my other videos out.